Hello and welcome to Anderson's TV. My name is Jack Duxbury, he's the Maltese Falcon. Woo. And that's us mm. holding a camera. And that's because we're gonna fly behind the camera. You can even see the Falcon right now. And we're gonna learn from him and us about how we record the audio for the videos here. If you're new to the channel, thanks so much for clicking on this video. We're a music shop in Guildford in England and uh, everyone who's subscribed already thanks so much we're doing a giveaway as well so when we get to 100,000 subscribers we're going to give away some stuff anyway that's the boring things over to the falcon Ka -ka! let's get started <laughs> uh, so first off we should probably start with the microphones we're using lapels a couple of different sets that we kind of flick through so that doesn't really matter as long as you're recording audio that comes through this cable, we've got a mic box back here. Nothing too fancy schmancy, but that's where we get the audio from most of our keyboards and synths and all that good stuff. Just goes straight into the DI box, into our setup over here. So we're just recording straight into, we just got two 8Ps here, which most of the time we're just using one. Um, straight into Logic, we've got no plugins on the console, we're just recording it dry so that if we need to make any changes to the audio, we can do that after the fact. And that's it? And that's it. Okay, I'm <laughs> going to ask the questions that someone might ask if they have no idea what you just said. Okay. Do it. Which is a lapel microphone. Yes. Why, um, what is a lapel microphone a bit more, because I know you know this, and as I understand it, why don't we use something like a shotgun microphone or something like you might see on a podcast? And that's, why do we use these? Yeah, we use these, well, my first answer would be mainly because we've always used them as as long as i've been working here they've just been the the go-to technically there isn't any right answer with how to record your vocals we just happen to use lapels the reason we use them is because they're quite discreet they're quite small you know they kind of stay out of the way yeah, especially the one i've got on, right especially yeah, yeah. jack's one is like super so you incognito. can hide them uh, but the problem is you like i sometimes i don't plug them in Yes. And I can understand people might go, why don't you have wireless, but we're a small space. You'd have to manage batteries then, wouldn't you? Exactly. And we've got a set of wireless ones. It's just then, like you're saying, you're dealing with power and batteries and a whole bunch of other things. So we just... And it's always good to keep them ready and charged when we do want to film in the store. Because exactly. that's usually pretty impromptu. Well, yeah. Because they're going to film in the store. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because they do get used either yeah. way. And as I understand it, right, because we don't wear headphones a lot of the time when we're recording, it, it's got a tight pickup pattern so that yeah. you can have the audio sometimes. When I'm, I'm not supposed to talk over when I'm playing, right? But the that's, lapels that's help in that. Exactly. I mean, usually, since it's right next to your mouth, it will get the, the closest kind of, without having a microphone on you, it will get the closest response of your voice, which means... Cool. You can have it very quiet or turned up not too much, you know, and it's picking up a solid, healthy signal of your of your voice. Nice, so that's the microphones. And then you said, oh yeah, we plug into this box here. Come over here, Falcon, and just explain, because uh, a box like this, as I understand it, is essentially mirroring the inputs that you've got on your interface. Exactly. And uh, it's like basically a posh extension, right? Yeah, yeah, so we've got, this obviously has 16 inputs. And we've got two 8Ps, so we've got two sets of eight, 16. So now, when 16. you say 8P, to the people that, oh, I yes. know what 8P is because I'm a massive Universal Audio fanboy, but that's a audio interface, right? Aud eight channel audio interface, yeah, by Universal Audio. So that just makes sure we have enough available inputs to, you know, have, every we have enough signal for everyone mm -hmm. speaking, all the gear we use, because sometimes we do more than one instrument and it, if it's two inputs per instrument, it adds up, you know, so. And the vocals, and that's interesting. When you said console as well, like console is almost like the digital front end of those boxes, right? Exactly. So when you said we don't treat anything, uh, yeah, do we don't do anything to the mics or the yeah, keyboards on the Yeah, we don't do any way? processing with no EQ or compression, because like I said, it's especially on the lapels and stuff like that, you kind of, you don't want it to be baked into the sound. You want to be able to, if you're compressing a vocal, you don't over compress it. So leave it all clean. Now, do you do any fiddling? Um, again, if you're out there and you watch the videos, Chris does all the sound. With the, uh, in terms of the voice, do you do, one, do you fiddle with how the voice sounds? Secondly, with keyboards, do you leave them as is? I would assume you leave those because we're trying to show people what they sound like. Yeah, pretty much. Nude. 
pretty much. With the voice, I do definitely more processing than with the instruments because as part of our thing when we film these videos, we don't want to, you know, change the audience's perspective. We want to give them the same reaction that we had when we were listening in the room. So we keep it all as dry as possible. Then with the voice, it doesn't really matter because people, you just want to hear us well, really. So a bit of compression, a bit of leveling, a bit of EQ to kind of brighten. Especially these mics can be a bit dark at times, you know, a bit quiet. So it helps to give them a little boost. Well, maybe we'll do more of those because Chris has his own series at the moment called The Falcon's Nest, where he's talking about all the things he's good at, which is a lot of things. And video audio is one of them. So we might do the posh, but I'll ho hopefully that helps you. It's as simple as that, right? Yeah, simple. And as. when you said a DI box, just yes. in case you haven't heard of a DI box before, why and um, like what are we doing with a DI box and why do we use it? So, as you can see, the cables coming out of the back of the piano are jacks and the, out of the back of the DI are XLRs. So what, we're, what the DI box is doing is basically, it's gonna get a bit technical, it's changing the impedance of the jack, the signal through the jack cable out the XLR, making it from an unbalanced signal to a balanced signal, all that terminology just means that it's coming out of here and it's going into the computer nice and loud and full without any you know noise issues because mm -hmm. that also has a ground lift on it so if there's any electrical harm we can get rid of that yeah that's that's really the you know? only bit of gear we're putting in between that and, and the, the, the interface isn't it yeah pretty much so yeah there's no jiggery pokery believe it or not even people say we screw up the sound on videos i don't see where we can screw it up it's so simple other than with my fingers blame my fingers uh, i think people um forget that there's no benefit for us to completely misrepresent what a product sounds like. That just ruins your relationship with a, a company that you're selling their products. Exactly, yeah. Um, yeah. exactly. And hopefully we can convince Oz to do one of these videos for the guitar one. But yeah, that's it. That's our setup. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Chris. Fist bump, thanks, <laughs> Oz. And uh, we'll see you again in another video. And check out the Falcon's Nest. And Oz has got some videos on the main guitar channel as well. Uh, remember, subscribe, because we're giving away stuff. See you. Hello, mate.